Good morning. It's uh, May 26th, 2014, and we have a real crisis in this country regarding our Veterans Administration Hospitals. And you have to give Veterans Hospitals credit, after all. They have kept their inability to capably treat all veterans a secret for years now. Oh, once the veterans get into the hospitals, I'm told by my brother, a Vietnam veteran, that the VA hospitals are very good, but the trick is getting into them. The waiting time for veterans is far too long and deadly. I suppose the administrators of VA hospitals were afraid they'd lose their jobs if they told the truth and created a fuss. Managers are always subject to this pressure. Don't let anybody know we're inadequate. See General Motors recalls for an example. The real problem unquestionably is that we don't have enough doctors and nurses, hospitals or medical offices to treat veterans. We don't want to spend the money. Here in New York, we have these very efficient local medical offices sprouting up all over the city. They are sponsored by local hospitals and they seem to do a very good job. This is what we need about 2,000 of all over the country for veterans. I'm sure we need at least another hundred major VA hospitals also, but these little medical clinics do wonders, and I suggest that many veterans could get appropriate care in these places. I would think that they don't all need hospitals, but mostly they need real medical care and supervision. So tell the Tea Party and conservatives and everybody else that we need a hundred billion dollars for this right now. So cough it up. There's no way around this one. In the meantime, Congress and President Obama must pass whatever bills are needed to immediately allow veterans to go to any hospital in the United States and have the bill sent to Washington. Sure, there will be fraud, but we have put ourselves in this position through our enormous neglect of our veterans, the people who fight the wars we often simply dream up. This bill should be in place by sundown. 